So I had this question turn up in my inbox. Please doctor, explain tinnitus phenomenon during perimenopause and menopause phase. Why does it happen? Exactly, why does this happen? So let's break it down. I'm Dr. Nigat, an NHS GP with a specialist interest in women's health and the author of The Knowledge, where I take a whole look at the whole female cycle from menstruation to the menopause and tinnitus isn't actually a phenomenon that just appears in perimenopause and menopause. Did you know that if you have periods as well and in pregnancy, tinnitus can occur? So let's break down the science behind why we experience or some women experience a phenomenon that is tinnitus. And it can be a bane in your life as well. And it can be so frustrating. So let's get into it. Tinnitus is a complex condition involving many different parts of the auditory, so our ear pathways, that can be exacerbated by psychological symptoms such as stress, anxiety, mood disorders, depression, ear infections, being near really loud noises, trauma, loads of different things can bring on tinnitus. So tinnitus is a name for ringing or buzzing that comes from inside your ears. So at the top, as you can see from the inside, rather than an outside external source. So this fascinating study, which was done in 2019, which got easily overlooked because, well, something called the pandemic happened, but it showed that the menstrual cycle irregularity is also associated with, say, mental health characteristics, which we already knew about, and also psychological factors such as increasing anxiety and depression. And we know that these are some of the symptoms which are a risk factor for polycystic ovary syndrome. So I'm going to come back to this later because we know that those with polycystic ovary syndrome have a higher perpetual risk of having menstrual irregularity. What this paper was able to show that both tinnitus and menstrual irregularity seems to be closely related to the physical and mental health in women. In addition, there was a previous study that was done before this, which reported higher prevalence of tinnitus in pregnant women than non-pregnant women and suggested a relationship between female hormone changes and tinnitus. So yes, you are not going mad. Biological female who have a drop in estrogen are more susceptible than men to get tinnitus. We have estrogen receptors everywhere and we have estrogen receptors in the cells in our ear and along the auditory pathway. It's still not clear what estrogen, testosterone or progesterone exactly have a role when it comes to hearing and that's just because of studies not being done. In the luteal phase though, if you go back to my previous paper that I was talking about, they showed that in cycles where in the luteal phase we get a drop in estrogen, our cortisol increases and our serotonin lowers, giving us that psychological symptoms that we experience in around our luteal phase. Therefore, we get an inflammatory response and around the very fine nerve endings around the cochlea, what happens is, is that it gives the irritation around our nerve endings in the ear, giving the tinnitus phenomenon. So the good news is, is that mainly the tinnitus does get better by itself. But as the study that I showed you earlier shows that women who have PCOS are more prone to getting irregular periods. And as we know, PCOS is a lifelong hormonal condition, then tinnitus and hearing loss is slightly higher. So we need to be highlighting this and looking at managing PCOS in women better. In perimenopause, again, we can get irregular periods, but also a drop in estrogen that can occur. And then this can cause the phenomenon in tinnitus in some women. So in the perimenopausal phase, for some, tinnitus can be just temporary. For others, it might be something that's prolonged and really impacting their life. And that's when I would consider giving estrogen back to that patient to manage their menopausal symptoms in the form of HRT. Having regular hearing tests also make sure that we're looking for other conditions such as Meniere's disease or making sure that we're ruling out diabetes or underactive thyroid disorders, multiple sclerosis or anxiety or depression has to be ruled out. We can't always just think and be blinkered that this is menopausal related. It's always a good idea to think about some medications that can trigger um, tinnitus as well, so such as non or anti-inflammatories or aspirin because that can make your tinnitus worse. As I said earlier, deep breathing or yoga may help with your tinnitus symptoms as well, making sure that you're getting enough exercise, you're getting enough sleep, looking at your work-life balance and also any stress or confounding factors that are affecting you. It can often be helpful to listen to soft music or sound therapy as that's a good distraction technique. So for lots more information, the British Tinnitus Association has loads of free and handy tips for you. I hope that's been helpful.